guys. It's Wes from Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. And uh, man, we're at the Cache River National Refuge. I've never fished down here before. Man, you talking about looking like a swamp. And I am ready to get in the kayak. And I am ready to get out there and start casting some baits and see what we can come up with. Man, y'all come along hop in the boat with me. Let's see what we can do. There you go. There you go. Get around here. Oh no! Man, that felt like a good one too. There he is, he's under. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for him. He doesn't feel real big. Hey. Pretty fish though. Not a real dark one. There he is. There he is. Man, I hope it's a... Look at that. Boy, he's fighting, too. Good. Come on in here. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> Swimming in circles. Oh. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Look at here. That's a good one, isn't it? There he is. I didn't even know he was on there. <laughs> Look at the orange on him. I think that orange and blue is so pretty. There he is. <laughs> Got him. Not a very big one. Guys, look at their tails. I wonder if that's because they're fanning because they're on the bed. I mean, there's n literally nothing there if you can see that. There he is. There he is. That's a fighter there. Where are you going? Get in here. Get in here. Come here. Mmm. That's a fighter there. Look at that. Pretty good in there. I got a little old bite right there. There you go. Tighten up a little. Let's see what we got here. There you go. Oh man, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty fish. Not big enough to keep, but he's pretty. There he is. There he is. Uh oh, drags a little loose. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Is he big enough to keep? Well. I know he can feed like a big fish. Look at there. Pretty good fish, isn't it? Fine up and moving. Alright, I'm going to keep a few today, guys. And the reason why is I had a friend who said his mama wanted about 10 breeds. And 
so we gonna give them to her. And they'll keep the biggest ones to keep for the kids. Hey guys, I got something I want to share with you. You know, when you read through the Bible and we think about Jewish weddings, one of the things that that happened in a Jewish wedding is the man and his, the groom, and his father and his mother would travel to the place where the, the bride, where he wanted to marry, lived. And they would really cut a deal with her parents and with her that they wanted to marry each other. And they called it being betrothed. I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. And so once that had occurred and the price for the bride had been paid, it would take a, a, a legal certificate for these two to divorce now. Now, as soon as that was taken care of, the groom and his parents would travel back home. And when they would get home, he would begin to add on to his parents' house most of the time. And once he got the place that his bride would live with him, then he the wedding party, his parents, unannounced, would travel back to where the bride lived and they would surprise her and she had to be ready for this. And if it was at night, they'd wake the whole town up and it would be this huge celebration that the, that the groom had come back to get the bride, right? Now, if that's the way the weddings were, I want you to think exactly about what Jesus Christ has done. Jesus Christ came from heaven and he paid the price for his bride, which is the church. Now here we are, the church, those of us who are, who are in obedience to Jesus Christ and committed to him, and we sit here waiting because he's gone back to the Father. And he said, my Father, where he's at, there are many mansions, and he's going to build a room for us. So just like the, the bride and the groom in a, in a, uh, in a, in a Jewish wedding we wait here now waiting for the groom to come back and get us you know that makes a whole lot more sense when you understand the way the jewish wedding works and i just thought man if you guys understood that it may make the whole bible make more sense to you man i figured you'd want to know that no way there he is. Boy, he took it fast. I don't want to get in there on that hole. There may be some fish in there. Golly, what a fish. Get in here. Man. Y'all look at that right there. That's the one we've been looking for. I don't want him to get off. There you go. How did that get so loose? Come on, come on, stay with him. There you go. How did that get so loose, guys? I guess I'm monkey with it. That's a good fish. Look at there. That's a good one. He's a keeper. I've already caught the world's smallest fish, so. That's the world's second smallest fish. There he is. I knew he was there. I seen him jump a while ago. There he is. There he is. Come on in here. Come on in here. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. 
Well, yeah. God, look at that one. That's more what we're looking for there, isn't it? That's a good fish. There he is. Got him. There he is. Ooh, that's a good one. He's fighting. Hey, yeah. Get in here. That was a pretty good one. Oh, where he is. Golly. Maybe that's where they're at. Hmm. Hmm. Look at here. Now. Okay. We figuring something out there. How you like that right there? It's funny because fish don't let the rain bother them much. That feels like a better one there. Oh yeah, well it might have been hung. Oh yeah, come on up here. There you go. There you go. Look at that guy. Pretty fish, isn't it? Boy, I, I really like those stripes there. in there. That must be bedded up right there. Yeah, yeah. Come on up here. Yes, sir. That a little better there. Look at here. That's a nice fish, isn't it? Yeah, they're bedded up right there. Right. <laughs> hey, he is nice. look, at, look at his tail. Oh my goodness. Look at the tail on this thing. It's almost not even there. Get out of here, little man. There he is. <laughs> Just see that? He's jumping like a bass. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Where you at? Look, it's a pretty fish. Not quite big enough to keep, but a pretty fish. Now one of y'all wanted to see me get out of this kayak, and I'm gonna tell y'all, since I jacked this seat up, put a lift kit on it, it's not near as hard to get out. So watch what I do here.
Da -da. I told you I'd get out of it. Guys, it's Wes, Extreme Outdoors. I had a great time. This is the first time I've ever fished the Cache River. Uh, this is a national refuge. And uh, man, I just fished kind of like this little small, um, man, it looks like a swamp is what it looks like. Uh, you, you've seen it, you were sitting right there in the boat with me. I've had a good time. I probably got 10 or 15 of the biggest fish I've caught today and I'm gonna take them back. I got a buddy said his mom wanted some and I am more than happy to supply her with those. And uh, man, I'm so glad that you guys come along with me. I cannot wait to our next big adventure. I'm Wes with Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. I'll see you later.